सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कवरिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रे डिस्टिलेशन कॉलम पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग वॉट इज अ ट्रे डिस्टिलेशन कॉलम एंड द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ ट्रेस विच आर यूज इन ट्रे डिस्टिलेशन कॉलम मोर प्रिसाइसली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग द थ्री कॉमनली यूज टाइप ऑफ ट्रेस विच इज शिव ट्रे बबल कैप ट्रे एंड वाल ट्रे we will be looking at its function its advantages disadvantages applications and how each of them vary from the other okay guys so let's get started guys in the beginning of the video first of all we will be looking at what is a tray distillation column guys you might all know that distillation is a widely used separation technique in chemical engineering it capitalizes on the different boiling points of component which is in a liquid mixture to separate them okay A distillation column is a vertical vessel used for distillation. It consists of various components, which includes reboiler at the bottom and the condenser at the top. Guys, talking about the tray column, the term tray column or trayed column refers to the inclusion of the trays within the column. Okay, the trays are horizontal platforms which are placed at an interval along the column's height. The trays are designed to facilitate the separation of the component based on the volatility difference which is the tendency of a substance to vaporize guys the component with the lower boiling point vaporizes more readily okay as the liquid mixture is heated in the reboiler at the bottom of the column it vaporizes the resulting vapor rises through the column which comes in contact with the liquid on each of the tray to have a vapor liquid contact and the better the vapor liquid contact the better will be the efficiency of the distillation column so in simple words the tray distillation column compresses of tray all over the height of the distillation column the trays are there inside the column with a purpose to have vapor liquid contact and these trays are available in different types in this video particularly we will be discovering the three commonly used type of trays which are sieve tray bubble cap tray and valve tray okay guys so now let's get started with the first type of tray which is sieve tray guys sieve tray are constructed with perforated plates which are featuring holes that allows the vapor to pass through as you can see the photo of sieve tray on the screen which comprises of perforated holes and that perforated holes allows the vapor to pass through the holes and make a contact with the liquid the liquid flows through these holes creating a liquid film on the surface of the tray means a film of liquid is been created on the surface of the tray and from the perforations vapor is led to pass through on the upward direction and that will have a vapor liquid contact on the plate okay guys i hope the working of sieve tray is clear to you now we are moving towards the advantages of sieve tray from which the first advantage is of simple design sieve trays are known for the straight forward and uncomplicated designs okay guys then the second advantage is of cost effective this type of trays are cost effective to manufacture and install and guys the third advantage is of versatility these type of trays are suitable for various applications due to their simplicity okay so guys these were the three main advantages of sieve tray now looking at the disadvantage the first disadvantage is of limited vapor liquid contact guys sieve tray offers less vapor liquid contact compared to some other trays because there is a lack of residence time for having a contact between vapor and liquid okay and the second disadvantage is of less efficiency for some separations guys due to the limited contact there may be less efficiency for certain separation process as there is less contact between vapor and liquid compared to other types of trays okay guys now next is the applications of sieve tray guys sieve tray finds common usage in straight forward distillation process where the separation requirement are not that high complex okay and at the end for sieve tray we will discuss about the variation of sieve tray from the other type of trays and that is its simplicity and cost effectiveness guys the primary distinguishing factor for sieve tray lies in their simplicity and cost effectiveness which are the two advantages of sieve tray guys sieve tray are designed to be uncomplicated and economical making them stand out 
from more complex tray designs. In summary, sieve tray excels in their simplicity and cost effectiveness, which makes them suitable for applications where a basic distillation process is sufficient. While they may not provide the same level of vapor liquid contact as some more complex designs. Okay guys, so this was all about sieve trays. Now we'll be discussing about the second type of trays which is bubble cap tray. Guys, bubble cap trays are designed with individual cylindrical caps that covers the perforation on the tray. And here the vapor rises through these caps and facilitates excellent vapor liquid contact. You can see the photo of bubble cap tray here where there are individual cylindrical caps that covers each of the perforations and that is to have an excellent vapor liquid contact. Guys, looking at the advantages of bubble cap tray, the first is the excellent vapor liquid contact. The design of bubble cap tray promotes superior vapor liquid contact, enhancing the separation efficiency. Okay, and the second advantage is of suitable for high capacity operations. Guys, these type of trays are well suited for distillation process that require high capacity and efficiency. Okay guys, now next is the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is of higher cost and complexity. Guys, the bubble cap trays tends to be more expensive to manufacture and install due to the individual cap component and their complexity of design. And the other disadvantage is of challenging maintenance. Guys, here the maintenance of individual cap can be more challenging compared to the simple tray designs. So these are the two main disadvantages of bubble cap tray. Guys, looking at the application, bubble cap trays are commonly employed in refineries and large scale distillation processes where the need for the efficient separation is paramount. Okay guys, the most distinguishing feature of bubble cap tray is the presence of individual cylindrical caps. These caps set them apart from other tray designs and provides enhanced to vapor liquid contact. The design feature contributes to the efficiency but also adds to overall complexity and design and this is how it varies from the other type of trays. To summarize the bubble cap tray, bubble cap trays are recognized for their excellent vapor liquid contact, making them well suited for high capacity distillation process. However, their high cost and complexity as well as the challenge of maintenance should be considered in the context of specific applications such as those found in the refineries and large scale industrial operations. Ok guys, so this was about bubble cap trays. Now looking at the last type of trays for this particular video which is valve tray. Guys, the valve tray are similar to the bubble cap trays but they use more movable valves instead of fixed caps which you can see in the photo. The movable valves are designed to enhance the vapor liquid contact during the distillation process. So guys, the valve tray are somewhat similar to the bubble cap trays but the valve tray are more movable compared to the bubble cap tray, okay? Which you can compare with the photos displayed here. Talking about the advantages of valve tray, the two main advantages are enhanced mass transfer efficiency and improved vapor liquid contact from which the first is the enhanced mass transfer efficiency. Guys, the valve tray are known for their improved mass transfer efficiency, contributing to the better separation performance. Okay? And the second advantage is of improved vapor liquid contact. Compared to the other type of trays, valve trays provide superior vapor liquid contact and leads to more efficient separation. Okay guys? Now looking at the disadvantages, the first disadvantage is of higher cost and complexity. Guys, the use of movable valves increase the cost of manufacturing and installation and making the valve trays relatively more expensive. Okay guys? And the second disadvantage is of maintenance of moving parts. The moving valves requires regular maintenance and which adds operational complexity to the system. Okay? So these were the two main disadvantages of valve trays. Moving on towards the application, valve trays are applied in the situation where achieving enhanced vapor liquid contact is crucial for the success of the distillation process. Okay? And guys, 
the key variation in valve trace lies in the use of movable valves. The design choice sets them apart from the other type of the trays and contributes to their efficiency in promoting vapor liquid contact. And guys, the ability of valves to move allows for better control over the flow dynamics during the distillation process. To summarize the valve tray, valve trays are designed to optimize vapor liquid contact through the use of movable valves. While they offer enhanced mass transfer efficiency, but their highest cost and the need for maintenance of moving part should be considered when choosing them for specific application where improved vapor liquid contact is crucial. Okay guys, so this was all about wild tray. And guys, that's all for this video where we discuss about what is a tray distillation column in brief and we also discussed about the three commonly used type of trays in the tray distillation column which were sheave tray, bubble cap tray and the valve tray. And guys, for more interesting video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel. And guys, feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you next video.